ladies and gentlemen, sorry about had to had to let that whip appeal uh cut off early because you know in the in the building I had some folks that got real whip appeal like that Memphis whip appeal and this is going to be the best one because I'm save, saving the best for last but I got to let y'all know why this this particular um interview is happening so the last couple of days y'all I've been trying to get as much people on and some quality folks on some people that's really about the, the business, right? So I had a I had a PR agent on or a PR person who was really about that work, right? And then I had Cynthia Daniels on and we all know what's up with Cynthia Daniels. So then my sister, who my brother Carlos Brody, his lovely wife, inboxed me and was like, you know, but John, you're doing X, Y, and Z, you know, you might need to think about this person. And because this my sister I hear with a different ear when she told me instead of why you say her or what this person doing or what I already know if she bringing me something, the answer was already yes. I just had, I wanted, we wanted to get the specifics out. So then his wife was like, okay, well look, I'm going to check on her. We going to confirm it. I said, well, what about tomorrow? Because I had the brother talking about money. Then I had the brother talking about the UFOs. And now, we're going to end it up with somebody who is a, it's International Women's Month or History Month. It's only right. So when she told me, well, Brother John, if I confirm, I'm like, yo, tomorrow? She said, yes, we good. So this is why we're here. I got to thank Angela Brody for making this happen because if it was not for her or the thought, Carly, the thought to say, yo, what about if you have my sister on? And That's some really people, sweet. everybody don't get that treatment because yeah. they be trying to have me folks on and fry fish for they fish fry. <laughs> Grandma's telling pancakes on Saturday. Like, come on now, how is that uplifting the people? But Angela, I want to take the time to say thank you for, for bringing this to my attention. And, you know, it, it's only right that we keep lifting up our own people here in the city because I'm tired of hearing that we got to bring celebrities into the city. We got celebrities already mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I thank yeah, you. I'm, no I'm personally no thanking you thank for, you. for making, thank, thank you for having the thought. I appreciate that. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Brody is in the house as well. And y'all, yes, y'all know the yes, brother. We, yes. we, we got, we got extensive history, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first brother I met when I moved to Memphis back in 87. We hit it all from the jump. We used to rap. We used to dance. We used to do parties. We used to do it all, and we still we still here together, kicking it right. But Los, I want you I want you to introduce Carly because what she has done may have I want to say reignited, but may have created something in you. Yes to help the city yes. like you wanted to help in years past. Yes, yes. But we know how the city folks be acting <laughs> when somebody want to come right. back and help. Right. And they were like, you know, what's my cut or what I'm going to get out of this? Right. And you just want to help the young folks. That's right. So could you introduce Miss Carly? Because I want you, because you you know what I'm saying. I know it's what only you're saying, right. It's I, only got right. You. I got you. All right. All right. All right. So Miss Carly McCullough is a renaissance woman, Boom. right? Mm. And that's the perfect word. Listen, she has the restaurant, she has the law firm, right? she has the, now the uh, record company, which is why I'm here and, and what we do together. But the, the dream started 20 years ago. 20 years 20 ago? 20 years ago. She <laughs> in the 20 years in the making? Yes. Wow. She said, hey, I got this idea and when I'm ready, I'm gonna come get you but I want to do a company. She said that 20 years ago? 20 years ago. You had an idea 20 years ago? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, part of my introduction, so when she called me and said, hey, I'm ready, are you ready? I was like, uh. Mm -hmm. She's like, listen, you gotta be ready, I got you. I got this idea, my idea I was telling you about 20 years ago. The company is called Bluff City Records, 
and I want to do it this way, right? This way. Yes. Yeah, that, that said a lot just by saying oh, yeah. it just like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We know we got a lot of foolishness going on. We do. On, we do. But we want to have quality artists, good artists. They could be rap artists, um, R&B artists, blues artists, whatever. Just a good vibe and good people that's willing to work with us. Right. Right. right, right. So this is the backing that everybody is, was talking about they needed. Mm. With your video, your promotion, your marketing, like you got somebody that's willing to to front and back you, right? But you have to do your part. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta you do your part now. You gotta do your part. Bring something because you know yeah. women want you to bring something to the table oh, now. You, you, you can't just be sitting up at the table fronting. But see, I'm glad you said that because most artists mm. want to sit back and say, "Hey, I'm signed and that's it," and, right. and think that's all you gotta do. Oh no, no nah, no, you gotta put today. in some work, right? So. You got an A1 producer and you got an A1 executive producer that's willing to go the distance. Wow. So with that said, may I introduce Miss Colleen McCullough. <laughs> See, now, I, couldn't, I couldn't have did that. I that couldn't have, but the spirit said, shut up, John. Let Carlos do that. I promise you, that's how that's yeah. I listen. Smart yes. man. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Well, ma'am, you a busy woman. Mm. Yes. I see why uh, Ann was like, John, she like you. It's like, y'all y'all be working, working. Yes. yes. But, you know, Carlos brings up something. And you know how some people, they'll say something 20 years ago. Yes. And then that dream dies. Mm -hmm. Right? And I want to start with that since he brought it up. What was the, the timing when you said that, like, what was going on to make you even put that in the atmosphere? Um, I think we were neighbors mm -hmm. back in the day. We were mm -hmm. neighbors. And um, I was working with the city of Memphis. Um, but uh, Mayor Harrington at the time always allowed me to have my own firm outside of working for city of Memphis. And uh -huh. one of my areas was entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd gone to law school in Los Angeles, California. Um, and so bitten by that entertainment bug, when I came to Memphis, I was observant of the fact that we didn't really have uh, the presence, I believe, in the industry that we should have. Mm -hmm. We've always had the talent here, mm -hmm. but a part of my firm was reviewing bad contracts back Re then back then reviewing bad contracts uh getting people out of horrible situations um and i was like man you know we've had some some great labels here but none that have just risen you know to the top of course you have uh your goddies who you know are doing their thing mm -hmm. right now and then you've got uh money bag yos and you know in the hip-hop vein as well mm -hmm. uh, but but we wanted to create an atmosphere that was multi-genre, where it, you didn't have to necessarily be in hip hop in order to to win, to be right. to have the support that's, that's that you major. needed, right. you know. And we've had folks who have gone on American Idol, The Four, um, all of Go ahead those competitions. Stunt, stunt on us. Go <laughs> you ahead. know, they've gone on all of these shows, and then when they come back home, there's no landing spot for them. And we wanted to create hopefully that spot where they don't have to leave Memphis. They don't have to go to New York or Nashville or Atlanta in order to have some support behind them and some some real support, not just monies being thrown at them, but, you know, in addition to the money, some guidance mm -hmm. with some folks that know paperwork, that know the industry. Uh, right. You've got a superstar right here. That's and right. Memphis, he is a superstar, a ladies superstar. and gentlemen. She, she said he's a superstar. Yes, he's he a, is. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, he is a superstar, and I don't believe that Memphis really knows or appreciates <laughs> what, what we about. have you here. What she said? <laughs> you hear what she said? That's what I'm, finally somebody else said it other than myself and yes. Kevon J and yes. his wife. Oh yeah, mm. oh yeah. Wow. So I mean, I get highly <laughs> upset when look, I have look, my look. artists and they don't appreciate when their studio time set up mm. and they are no show or mm. they they're disrespectful. That's you know, right. when we have yes. greatness here who's willing to share his experience and his knowledge and the gifts that you know the good Lord gave him, and he's sharing that with these folks and they're not appreciative of it. Mm. You know, when that occurs, I'm like, okay. You're done. 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 I, I, I got to chime in because I remember when I had, and Carlos remember, 
We wanted to have a beat camp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was several years, 2016, I believe, right. 2016. 2016. Yep. That's yep. what, eight years ago, Yes. Mm-hmm. right? Yes. I had to pitch it to people. Mm. I had to say, yo, Platinum, he worked with XYZ, all yes. this stuff. That still wasn't good enough. No. Yeah. And the brother was no. coming. He was going to do it for the love. Right. Yes. Now yeah. imagine somebody of this stature yes. working with our children yes. back then. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. right? So it came up, well, uh, students can't have an F if they want to <laughs> attend the camp. Carlos said, hold up. I made Fs. Mm-hmm. Right. So what I look like yeah. only working with the straight A. Matter of fact, I may prefer the right. students yes. that's not making those good grades. Absolutely. That's right. So after the fact, we had parents say, he's my witness. Mm-hmm. I had a child that would never get up on their own for school. Mm. But for this camp, mama, come on, we got to go. Yes. <laughs> so when yes. I hear stories like that, and y'all yeah. know, that's right. that means it's something there. Yes. Right. Yeah. And it's people in the city. Yes that take people like Carlos and others that have all this talent Mm -hmm. and you want to say, well, what has he done lately? Or what is this? Mm -hmm. And what is that? No, respect the work that he put in and all the stars that he helped make. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. God, he included. And I don't care who upset mad. If y'all talk to Carlos, let them know how Carlos affected Gotti's career. Mm-hmm. So I'm so glad you said, because it needed to be said. We mm-hmm. said it amongst each other, but when somebody else says it, oh, yeah. it hits a little different. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry, I just had <laughs> no, it. No, I, no. I didn't mean to interrupt you, no, but, no, you know, no, the, the spirit says, say you're something. You're very right. Yeah. You're very right. <laughs> I mean, and spirit. I'm so... Follow yeah, follow yeah, spirit. Yeah, and I'm just so appreciative that, you know, Angela lends her husband, you know, to this project, mm-hmm. and, you know, they are of one mind and one accord. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, to have them come back to Memphis mm-hmm. um, and to participate and be a part of, you know, helping this thing move forward. And, you know, it's just a wonderful thing. And I'm super, super appreciative yeah. of them. So thank you, thank you all. So when, when, like, so has it's official now yes. it's, so it's open. So yes. mm-hmm. now you know we got a lot of artists or want to be rappers and yes. singers, and, and all we that want stuff. them. We and want, want them. we want the ones that we don't want them all. <laughs> no. no, 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 Wait, uh, no, disclaimer, no, no. disclaimer. Let's, let's be clear. No, we want them all. But we are multi genre so we want if they're in gospel, if they are, you know, R and B, if they're hip hop, if they're, you know, EDM, whatever mm-hmm. their genre is, we want to meet them there. If they're country, we want to meet them. Uh, but we want them to one have talent. Okay, right. that's that's a must. Okay. But we want them to have work ethic. Okay, uh oh. Mm-hmm. We want them to have work ethic. Say you know that yeah. gentleman that you mentioned that was work ethic. Work ethic. Yes, work right. Work ethic. <laughs> that gentleman that you were talking about that was telling his parents, "Oh, I got to get up. I got to get there." He was determined and he was focused. That's, that's you right. know, that's, that's what right. we want. We want someone who's focused. We want somebody who wants it. Mm-hmm. You know, we want someone who's going to go the extra mile. You, we're putting people in a safe environment right. okay, okay. Uh, okay the entertainment industry we know there's a yuck factor to it yes uh, there is a yuck factor um, and like so that. with yuck that, like that. <laughs> yeah, you know with that this is a, a label that's helmed by a female who is mm. ultra sensitive to that mm. okay yes, yes, and ma'am. so we are making sure that we place these babies and these young adults uh, in a safe environment environment Mm -hmm. where they don't have to participate with the yuck factor as a matter of fact if i hear about it it's going to be a problem Mm -hmm. okay and so we want super talent we want work ethic we want uh honor okay we want honor we want someone who's honorable okay? okay um because we've had scenarios where we gave people an opportunity and they did some under underhanded things okay mm-hmm. and that's not acceptable right. it's not acceptable it's not tolerated okay wow. so where we invest in music and videos and mm-hmm. then they want to take it and put it out on their own outside of the label 
and that's a no-go, okay? Right. And then act like, oh, what? What happened? No, you know what you did. You know what you did. You know what you did, mm -hmm. you know? And that's a no-go. So you're taking super advantage of a huge opportunity that you have, and you're taking the wrong advantage. Wow. Yeah. So, so let me ask this to uh, Angela. You have a son that's in the music game, right? And you hear somebody say this. If you didn't know her. Right. And you hear this because I want these mothers and fathers to hear how important what she said, especially in the climate of the music industry. You hear something like that. How does that make you feel when you got a son that's trying, that wants to get in there and make it, <laughs> and you hear a safe space and making sure your contracts is on point and uh, honorable? She, she's hitting us with words that a lot of these young folks not even familiar with. But if she's coming in the door with that, as a mother, how does that make you feel? Oh, man, I love it. And mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, I know that. Um, she's like, what, boy, you keep pushing that thing. You knock my right. sprite over if you want. It's going <laughs> to be know. a problem. Right. <laughs> what, I know what uh, Carly brings to the table for Memphis. It's progressive. It's forward thinking. I love it. Uh, as far as my son, he's met Carly. Uh, great artists, great talent, great music. Um, my thing, even with that, with a lot of things, because I don't play by him, but he's not ready. He's because not there are ready. some things that he may be missing mm. that I won't bring to her until mm. he gets ready. You know, so even now, like she, like she said before, she's had some artists that's come in and, you know, people present what they have and people tend to say this is what they want to do mm -hmm. i don't know nobody eats sleep and breathe music other than carlos brody oh for mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. yes, been yes. together for a long time yes, and that's that's his thing he don't play about it if you say get up let's do it let's do it you know but um people say they want to do it and they think it's an overnight thing mm -hmm. it doesn't happen overnight and you got to be willing to put in the hard work and cultivate it you know and if it's th if it's a dream of yours you're gonna work for it right you know mm -hmm. but right. Uh, this is something that Memphis definitely needed. It's refreshing. I was not in Memphis mm -hmm. uh, when she said, "Oh, yeah, okay, y'all come back, come back." Still a little skeptical. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> y'all was out of town mm -hmm. when she. Now, twenty years later, now she like, "Let's go," and y'all wasn't in the city. And so mm -hmm. that's. So. Well, what happens is when when all of the things that she wants out of a person, that's what she gives. Gotcha. You know, so when somebody come to me like that, um, and I know what she possessed, and then then I was like, okay, you know, she she it clicked. It. She said, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it clicked. And you know, my prayer for a long time has been because of the yuck factor of the music business. You know, with my husband, I've seen a lot of dirty, you know, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. It's the music business, you know. And even now, we see a lot that's going on, and everything is glamorized, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. there's still so much missing in the contracts ain't right and the money that people think people get and a lot of people ain't even getting the dollars that they say they get you know but mm -hmm. for sure uh it's worth it gotcha yeah now I, um, before i get back to carly carlos i gotta bring this up to you because <laughs> the music game has changed yes. with the advent of streaming <laughs> yes all right I hate them. now i just heard this morning joe budden said mm -hmm. A lot of these streaming numbers, they lying. Yes, he said that, yes. and when he it caught my ear because everybody's saying streaming this many million, this X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. He was like, they lying. Mm -hmm. So, coming into the game and getting back into this music industry, you came from the era when it was the golden era. Yes, you seen you work with Biggie, Jay Z, right. all the top folks that's still popping now. Right, you touched them in some shape, form, or fashion. That's right. How do you take that and as Carly come to you now with mm -hmm. all that wisdom and knowledge that you have with all this streaming and all these 360 deals, all these funny contracts, right. how do you merge all that you've been through to kind of reinvent yourself mm -hmm. to be a dominant force here in 2024? That's a great question. I'm not sure how to answer. For one, I hate streams. And I hate them because of the fact that the money is different. Mm. The money is a tenth of a cent. Tenth of a cent. So if, a tenth of a 
understand. I have no idea, but but when you're get when you're used to getting, let's say you're used to wait, getting. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's one, it's not one cent. No, it's, it's a, a tenth of one, one tenth. Cent. So it's ten tenths of to make one cent. One cent. So wow. for instance, the numbers are like for every one hundred and fifty thousand streams on an album. Okay. It equals to about four fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Versus when you used to sell a hundred thousand units, Shoot. right? Right. At let's say five dollars a unit, mm-hmm. you can do the math. Right. But now, if you stream a hundred thousand units, you're barely making fifteen hundred dollars. I mean, these record companies is getting yeah. over hand over fist. Yes, but I can't figure out who came up with these numbers, who did this math, and who and why do we all have to agree with it? So it's never been a round table to say, Carly, hey. they never invited you to these tables? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, Not okay, at okay, all. okay. Never okay. been a round table to say, hey, the we're, this streaming thing is going on, and these are the numbers. Do you agree or disagree? We never had that agreement. It's kind of like a thing they just threw on us and said, hey, this is what it is, right. and this is what they're worth. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, the same, it, it's the same. Remember Napster? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, killed the game. Came yes. in. Yo, yes. yeah. And they sued him, right? Right. Shut them down. Shut them down. And then introduce Apple Music. Mm-hmm. That's right. Doing the same thing. Same, he did. same exact thing. Yes. Apple Music don't pay producer and art uh producer writer royalties. What? No. This is this is actual facts. Actual facts. Tidal introduced a program or a tier uh, on their um platform. Platform to whereas you can pay an extra twenty, thirty dollars. And that extra twenty thirty dollars goes to pay producers and writers. Wow! It's, and it's an actual tier on their platform oh, that you can get. If you subscribe to that particular tier, yeah. it that part of that money goes to pay the producer. Ooh, so they want you to go to a whole different tier instead yes. of that, that fourteen ninety nine. Exactly, exactly. I can get my whole family right. on for fifteen dollars. Exactly. <laughs> they gotta. They go got to another one that that pays out to the producers and writers. Now, Eminem sued. Uh, Apple Music to get uh, it was some type of class action they did and they got and and they paid because at first they wasn't paying artist royalties either. Wow. So now they pay artist royalty but they don't pay producer writer royalties. So right. Wow. We, we may have to get one in to get them to come to the table. Wow. That, that's amazing. And this is a big discussion that's happening behind the scenes that nobody is actually talking about. You uh-huh. know. A lot of artists are talking about this. Snoop, uh, Royce was mentioning it. It's like, uh-huh. who came up with these numbers? Wow. You selling, you got a billion streams and you barely making a million dollars. That, it makes no sense. Don't, don't add it's, up. It math yeah. ain't math. Math ain't math. <laughs> so, Carly, now, you being a powerful attorney and you know these weak, whack contracts, <laughs> yes. and you hear that, mm-hmm. but you know how these deals are being done and mm-hmm. you know. We're not at the table for these deals. Sure. How can you leverage this this new record label to where you can educate these artists as well as uh, Ms. Ann was talking about? Like, she's trying to prepare her son to even bring to you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because imagine they can somebody get her son, oh, yeah, we can get this. If you get a million streams, we're going to buy you a car. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to buy you a house. Then we're going to fly you. And we know... All that is money adding mm-hmm. up that they're going to have to recoup later. Sure. But if they don't have a mother like Ann or somebody mm-hmm. like you at the table, they'll be got. Sure. They will be got. So how yeah. do you, how are you going to, or uh, the plan, or if, in you, if it's a secret, you don't have no, to tell us. Not. But Mm-mm. with all that information that Carlos and Ann just shared, how do you leverage that in the record industry right now? Well, what Carlos hit on when he said Napster, and of course, you know, you're familiar with that, mm-hmm. that changed the whole industry, mm-hmm. okay? It, uh-huh. it, turned it, on, it turned it on its head, and then the record labels had to say, holy cow, what are we going to do? Because now mm-hmm. our structure doesn't work, okay? <laughs> it doesn't work. The old model doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So then that's when they came with the 360 deal, okay? Mm-hmm. And can, the you, three... can you give an example <clears throat> of that? Sure. Um, a 360 deal, of course, is a perfect circle. Okay. And so basically that means that instead of the old school record deals of getting paid just on uh, the record sales, mm-hmm. okay, that's what an old 
deal strictly look like? With sales. Strictly record sales. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, 360, mm -hmm. we want to get paid in a, uh, everywhere you're going to get paid. So we what? want a piece of publishing. We want a piece of merchandising. We want a piece mm -hmm. of your uh, your uh, performance, mm -hmm. you know, fees. And so their philosophy, their position was that, hey, um, Without us making you famous, mm -hmm. you would not have an opportunity to take advantage of these other opportunities. So mm -hmm. therefore, we need a piece of that. And I don't necessarily disagree with it, okay? Mm -hmm. But th where the problem comes in is when the percentages are off. Mm -hmm. okay? They numbers again. They're the numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. When the percentages are off, that's when you have a major problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Because a 360 deal is not going anywhere. It's, it's here to stay yes. for the most part because where is a record store now where can you go boss ugly bobs is gone and it's right. been gone for a while and it's never come back right. you know so where can you go even the big box stores their records their it's records small, you know they're getting, and they're getting smaller and smaller for right. all of the records and right. you know music that we have releasing most kids these days they've never even seen a record player yeah, okay right. mm -hmm. you know you can talk about a cd but they, they don't know what a record looks like right. they don't know what a cd looks like right now right. they just don't know right. and so with that nobody's purchasing physical mm -hmm. tangible product right. so you can't ever go back to the old school way of doing it but what you can do mm -hmm. is you can have your contract because if you are uh, a mini label like we are, boutique mm -hmm. label, right. then hopefully a major will see the activity that we've got and they're coming, they'll partner with us, okay? And it's but okay to partner. Absolutely, yes. okay, absolutely. Okay, okay, but okay. our percentages on the front end have to be a certain way so that uh -huh. we can partner with a major, okay? Gotcha. And so when I sign anyone, as a lawyer, I'm a professor. I teach entertainment law at the University of Memphis Law School. And so, as such, I break down the contracts for every single person that I sign. I break them down, I explain it to them, and then I encourage them, hey, yes, I'm a lawyer, but I encourage you to go get a lawyer, have them look at it. You know, for the so most part, not, I know all the lawyers here. Go sign your name here and you got a shiny car over your shoulder. <laughs> no. and that can be yours. Go ahead and sign. Cause yeah. you know no. those were the tricks they used yeah. to do back mm -hmm. in the day. Yeah. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. see we see a shiny car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Not knowing what we signed. Yes, mm -hmm. no, not at all. First of all, I'm not buying a car. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, let's just put it put that there so that y'all don't call if you want the car. Okay. Right. So I invest in them as an artist okay so i'm gonna invest in studio time i'm gonna i'm bringing carlos here and he's putting out some major major music with these folks videos we've got videos out here on youtube stylists i mean do you know how much it costs to mm. to really <laughs> yeah i mean you've got stylists makeup hair <laughs> weave, weave good lord of money you know we that's a lot of money that's, that's a, a lot, lot of money, money yeah. you know and so and you know and i had one artist i mean we did what four or five videos mm -hmm. on this one you know and you know it is what it is um mm -hmm. and so that's where i prefer to put the money because if i if i invest in you and i teach you to fish mm -hmm. Yeah, you eat just, for a lifetime. a lifetime. You a see lifetime. what I'm saying? You right, eat for right. a lifetime. You know, but if I just do it for you, mm -hmm. and then if I were to give you a big sum of money, okay, mm -hmm. what you going to do with it? What you going to do with it? Not going so to let's get the right. training wheels <laughs> off here mm -hmm. so then when the major comes and then that money is there, mm -hmm. you've now been trained right. mm -hmm. on what to do with this money. That's real. Do you understand? That's real. Yeah. That's real. And I and the funny funny thing again, I just heard this new cat. His name was Four Bats. Mm -hmm. Four Bats. He's out of Dallas. Okay. Three songs, mm -hmm. two minutes each, mm -hmm. ten million streams mm -hmm. since November. Okay. Drake jumps on the remix, mm. right, wow. to validate the young fella. Right. You look at him, he looked like a stone cold killer or a thug. One of, one of those. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but he's singing mm -hmm. in a voice <laughs> that you would be like, hold up. Mm -hmm. And it, and 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 what I'm what I'm getting at, they were saying, 
uh, somebody tried to say he was an industry plan and all mm-hmm. that, but the way that they said they said the same thing. They focused on the video, mm-hmm. the wardrobe, mm-hmm. the branding, imaging, even the cover of the song. They was like it was. It's all put together, and that's mm-hmm. what they said. The focus was so. What you talking about? Is it seemed like the same blueprint that mm-hmm. they tried to use yeah. for this young brother? Right. Yeah. But ten million streams off three songs at wow. two minutes each. Wow. I'm like, what is the game <laughs> coming to? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see, but and you hear stories like that, uh, Carlos. And you know, remember going to the store, picking up the twelve yes. inch and the album. Yes. It was a different feeling. It so was. now it's like I got to look at artwork yeah. or an album cover. Everything is YouTube. on the phone. Yeah, yeah, everything is on the phone. It's like the pleasure of picking up the needle and all of that. Do you think that this digital uh, platform is here to stay, or you think with AI coming and AI, you making beats and you know? Yeah kind of taking some jobs right yeah it, it is taking jobs and it's never going to go back to the way it was right and technology is wonderful when you use it the correct way correct right? way uh-huh. yeah uh, of course i still love physically touching things and, and going to old record stores and stuff like that right mm-hmm. so f- for me it's not going anywhere i still make beats the old way w- but with new technology Okay. Right, that's my skill set. Right, and I'm always up on technology because technology is gonna keep advancing. Always. So AI ain't going nowhere. It's gonna keep getting better. Mm-hmm. Although I choose not to use it to create, you know, mm-hmm. that's just me. But I've seen kids do stuff with it. It's like, oh man, this is wild. You know, right. in terms of you know creating samples or compositions, mm-hmm. you know, you can do that and it's fine. Um, but I don't have a problem with it. I, I welcome it. I just mm-hmm. you know I want to see us. It's a 50-50 thing with me, you know? Got you. Yeah, Got you. As long as it's being used in the right, yeah, in right, the right way. Yeah, in the right way, yes. Okay. All right. Now, I want back to you, Carly. It's having, uh, saying the idea, I want to start a record label. Mm. I'm sure it may may have been met with, girl, you don't need to do that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, come Why on, you the music business, and <laughs> come on, you you got a you got one of the dopest restaurants in the city, yes. all of that. But what made you push through? Because I'm sure it was some. Come on now, you, you, you well, don't need to do that. To be honest with you, no, because I don't really talk about it. I just do it. So I don't really. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't I, really, I, I, you know, I don't really say, oh, I'm gonna do blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. I don't talk about it. What I typically do in my time when I have some spare time is I'll put together a business plan. I'll put a portfolio together, mm. and then I'll just put it on the shelf. Wow. And then, like Ooh. mahogany, actually, s- mahogany mm. sat on the shelf for seven, eight years mm. before wow. I pulled it off. Okay, it was supposed to originally be by the Civil Rights Museum where uh, the barbecue places. Mm. Corky's. Corky's, okay. Uh-huh. And um, true story, I went and um, they had the big warehouse mm. sign Central, up. Yeah, Central, 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 right. Central okay. Barbecue. Wow. So they had um, warehouse sign. They had a, a for rent, for sale, buy it. Prince Mongo owned the uh, land, mm. a blank empty lot next door. So I had a contract on that. I went to um, the, it's, you said it's Corky, Central, mm. Central. Uh, Central. So Central. I went to the folks and I said, okay, I'm very much interested in, you know, the spot and I kind of explained to him explained a little too much mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. what I wanted to do mm-hmm. you know the fact that the Civil Rights Museum at that point had 175,000 uh, visitors coming through every come, year they come on numbers. buses mm-hmm. they had to go to, they come numbers. on buses but nobody was facing the Civil Rights Museum mm-hmm. nobody wow. even to this day other than wow. that restaurant nobody is giving any attention to the Civil Rights Museum mm-hmm. with all of that traffic coming through there right. And they decided to take it off the market and, mm-hmm. and yeah. put. Wow. And put so that came, but so they already own nothing. the building. They yeah, already they own the building. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's where uh, Bluff City was Give started mic, because we met the block <laughs> right behind yeah. Central Barbecue yeah. as well. So mm-hmm. that's a good spot for you. Everywhere you go around there, you, you get your ideas. Mm-hmm. She got me putting ideas on the shelf. She said, "What you want to do next? What you want to do? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> like, okay. Now I'm at home. Like okay. Yeah. You know and. Yeah. Man, just being in San Antonio for two and a half years, being progressive. Uh, I, I was telling you, Brother John, you know, Memphis, we talk about so much negativity. Come on. The crime, the this. The, 
crime is going to happen. It's in every city across the United States. That's right. My thing is, I feel like if we stop as a city talking about the crime, the shooting that's happening every day, and start highlighting some of this positive, some of the positive things that's going on in the city, because it's a lot of positive that's things right. going on in the city. That's a lot right. of positive women. The, the it's positive information. Everybody's talking about. Well, we don't have this. We don't have that. We have it, but we don't patronize it. Mm-hmm. We don't. We don't go and support it. Right. Just like with Black Res- Restaurant Week. Starting Sunday. Yes. yes. Sunday. Starting Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Support your black owned restaurant. Twenty nine restaurants. We yes. cried about yes. not having no black Ooh, restaurants. You got yes. vegan. You got soul yes. food. You yes. got tacos. You got yes. you name it. We mm-hmm. got it. Mm-hmm. Black owned. That's right. Support yep. your own. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the only way these places are going to establishments are going to stay alive is if we start to support one another. Mm-hmm. You that's know, right. same mm-hmm. thing as with any industry. We got so many people. I met a young lady. Uh, we looking to do some stuff. Uh, with the uh, tablecloths and everything. And she told me, she said, you know, I'm from Ridgecrest. And she said, because people expect for me to fail, she's like, I work hard. I go hard. Mm-hmm. I said, well, I'm going to try you out. You know, that's all I can do. Okay, you but know? can you tell the people what Ridgecrest is, the people that may not know <laughs> Ridgecrest? Can you just let, just give them what Ridge you say Ridgecrest? Ridgecrest is an affluent <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yes, an affluent apartment complex. That's what I'm talking about. In yes. the bay, and if you don't know what the bay is, it's Fraser. Uh huh. I like that. An yes. affluent North, North Memphis Amplified. But, uh, <laughs> we will not talk negative about anything. That's in what Memphis. I'm talking. Yeah, about. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's why I love it. You know, and you, brother John, because one thing about y'all, I don't care what's negative, what's going on in the city, y'all always tend to. If it's a problem, okay, what can we do to fix it? That's right. You know? Right. What so can we, do? we got a new black mayor in office. What can we do to fix it? A new yeah. black superintendent. We got a new mm-hmm. black superintendent. Mm-hmm. What can we do to fix it? Don't go hiring y'all friends well, and we cousins. Got a, we got a black police chief. We all of that. Um, what? Two black yes. mayors. Wow. Yeah. All these, all these black in position. Y'all ask for these positions. We're new Chocolate City, huh? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. We've been there for a minute, they man. Ask, yeah. You ask for these positions. Right. What can you do right. to help progress mm-hmm. and move forward? And I'm and the reason I say this is because being in San Antonio, it's uh, predominantly Hispanic, okay. and we are the minority. What? In what? San wait, 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 wait. We minority in San Antonio. We are the minority. Mm-hmm. Facts. Facts. Beautiful city. Hmm. Forward thinking, always building, uh, and, and it is what it is. Schools, programs, you name it. You know, everybody have their little problems or whatever right, it right, is, right. but it is what it is. Y'all ask for this stuff. Let's let's get together support and support it. Support it. it. That's yeah. right. And Cynthia Daniels mentioned. She said, "Now, even though it's twenty nine restaurants, mm-hmm. y'all may not get to all twenty nine right. in one week." That's not saying we got to stop, stop when yeah. the week is over. Absolutely. Spend the rest of the year yes. going to each and every one of them, to your point, and just support. Mm-hmm. So you can't say, well, they ain't got no vegan options. They ain't got, mm-hmm. we quick to say what somebody <laughs> ain't doing or ain't got. But, I mean, it's a popcorn place. So it pops kernel on here. Yeah. Gourmet popcorn. But y'all want to yeah. fly all the way to Chicago. Chica- right. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and we right. got all that, that goes back. We got a lot of stuff popping right here in Memphis. Mm-hmm. And I think, Carla, I, I wish you nothing but success. Thank and you. I was joking with Ann. I said, man, tell Carla I need to get on the beat. I done heard some of our old stuff. And I'm like, come on. I, I, I might have to, you know, re- reignite yeah. that. Because yes. Your pen work. Yes. <laughs> come on. But, but that's what I'm saying. You Things come along yes. that it may inspire you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I hadn't wrote a rhyme in almost 30 years. Yes. Come on. But I know what I did yes. with Carlos years ago. And this is the time where, listen, it, it's no age limit. There Mm-mm. there are no limits nowadays, right? right? And one, one of the things we're discussing because of the attention span of, of people nowadays, right? We're thinking about doing single deals. Yes. You don't have ah. to be in business with us long term. Let's try it out to see if we like each other. We might right. not even like each other. Right. So let's do a single and let's put the muscle behind the single and let's go to from push there. Push that, right. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. So, I mean, it look like big things yeah. going to be popping over yeah, here at Bluff City go. Records. Let's go. So, how, so if, if it's some parents listening or uh, people that are artists, how was the best way to connect? <laughs> um, I mean, those that are, what you say, let's, let's, you what said number? that has work ethic? Or yes. is, it, is it a email or is it a 
Okay. Social media site or uh, y'all get y'all give me some information and I can share it later or what y'all want what, what can we say? No, no, uh, well, I, I know it's bluffcityrecords.com. Okay. Um, so that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's yes. it. Yes. yes. Shoot, that's all they need to Shoot go to. Email. Sure. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yes, we've got the sign up uh sheet there. You can mm-hmm. go on Bluff City Instagram. Records. Mm-hmm. Instagram, yes. Bluff City Records. And you can always reach out to Carlos Brody who's I'm on Instagram, uh, Carlos Bro- at Carlos Brody. Hit me up, send me a DM. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, nice See, that, DM. That's, that's the language now, yeah, right? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Send me, send me a DM before yeah. folks send me DMs before they text me yeah, or call me. I, I know. I right? mean, but that's that hey, kind of world. That's what we it is, is right? Yeah, we gotta yeah. adapt. To yeah. Some people are like, man, I don't want to talk to you. I can't. That's access, yes. you know? Yes. So well, yes. As much as you do, I knew I reached out that way because I knew you're always doing something related to oh. radio, radio and work. So I said, mm-hmm. I know this is a quick way to get in touch. And, with and, you. and it's funny because, you know, and, and Carly can attest to this, I'm sure. Carlos, I know you too. Mm-hmm. It's never really no off days. No. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yesterday and today was our my off day. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yesterday I was off, but I was working at home. You at know home, how they yes. you got mm-hmm. work right. stuff at yes. home. But today when the, the, the person that was spoke about money was coming, I said, well, since I'm there, mm-hmm. let me go ahead and get, if I can get another person or two on, Yes, the radio is on, mm-hmm. yeah. so why not bring positive content right. to Ann's point? And that's why I was so glad that she brought Carly to, to my attention yesterday. But it's like, there's no off day. Like, I can't just say I'm off and mm. My mind is not thinking about you know Your new music never or right. something. It's because the mind the mind don't stop yeah, thinking. Don't stop. No, you know what I'm saying. No. So it's like, how is it you off? But we working. But it's, yes. it was a good cause, and yes. I thank you again, Angela, for for making this happen. But how is there a way for those that love to work and those you know it's passionate about the work? Yes. What's our me time? Or what's your me time to to shut off from the things that we love to do. Ooh, See, we all we all had the same remark. Mm, like, because yes. I'm trying to think when, you know, unless you go for you a know, drive. And, and, and you know, I, I think it's important to have an accountability person in your life because even with Carly and just working with her in a short amount of time, mm-hmm. I'm like, this lady has been going nonstop since we got here in October. Then she was like, okay, Ed, I need you. You ready? And I'm like, not really, but okay, what you need? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, because I know how she, from sun up to sundown, how this woman is always moving, you know, and she's been such a blessing to other people. Okay, sure, I can step in and help you with that. But I thought about it yesterday. I was like, she need a vacation. Because It hits you. Yeah, she need a vacation. she needs one, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because... Even the other day, uh, you know, uh, I was helping out at the, the law firm and the calls that were coming in and she come right in. You don't have a moment to eat, you know, mm-hmm. but you're eating and you're working. And I was like, yeah, and I'm thinking from October, to, when has she unplugged? She's a wow. mother. Mm-hmm. She owns three flourishing businesses mm-hmm. and she needs some time for herself. Mm-hmm. You got other people pulling on you all day long. You know, so you need an accountability partner. Don't you, love? Yes, uh, okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, look, she gave him, don't you? Yeah. How blink, you plug, Blink man? if you're okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> right, right. Uh, my unplugging is me making beats. You know, bro, oh, making yeah. beats saved my life. That's yeah. right. You know, we, we come up in a time of hustlers and, you know, gang banging and all of this and, I stayed in the house making beats because I saw so much around me. That was that was my safe haven. You know, that's my right. therapy. Just plug, that's and right. I got a new toy, so I'm in heaven right now. Right. But let me say this, bro. Um, the the outlet that Carly has made for artists, new artists, old artists, you have a company that you can come put out an album or a single with, right? Do your videos. You also have a venue that you can go perform Whoa. your music. Whoa. There has never been nothing like that in Whoa. Memphis that I know of. Whoa. Whereas you can, okay, we in the studio today and tomorrow, you at Mahogany trying out your new material. Whoa. So, again, when we talk about artists that's willing to work, you got everything that you need. You got a place where you can test your material. Right. That you just made to see if the audience likes it or not. Right. You if, know, if so, you really about that work, yeah, like you really yeah. want to see, you want to be viral. That's right. Shoot, you got opportunity. I, I think it, the new, I 
think it's a popularity contest too because mm. everybody want to be popular. Yep. Who following you? Right. <laughs> How many followers you get? Right, 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 right. I don't right. like nobody watching me like this. So right. I'm, it's weird to me, but, you know, that is a new thing. It's it's a big popularity contest. That's that. It, that's what it is. That's mm. what I, that, yeah, and that's why I was saying how you leveraging all this new technology, social media, all this. And, I don't. And you, <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I don't. Right. I mean, I don't have a Facebook page. Wow. I really don't. That says a lot. I, I don't have a fa- you don't have Facebook. I don't have, I don't Facebook, have a Facebook either. page. Mm-hmm. I have Instagram, but the page is private. Mm-hmm. I have Instagram because my son was like 11 or 12, and he said, Mommy, I want an Instagram page. And I was like, what is that? And so I got Instagram. I said, let me see what it is because I wanted to see what it was. Yeah. And pretty much I just followed him, you right. know, and I think I may have – Ten followers. <laughs> yeah, so right, I mean, right. eat my law firm uh, accounts and mm-hmm. the Bluff City accounts. Those are run right. by other people. Right. Um, I don't have the bandwidth or the attention to give right. to, to uh, that social that's media. Right. 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 You heard that's a boss, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear how she said that? Yo, I got other folks, right. you know, and I don't have the bandwidth. Those that know what the word bandwidth mean in and that man. sentence. In that how she said it, you go ahead and look it up yourself. But that was key how she said that oh, baby, for real. When I tell you, brother, you don't have time because working with her for well, closely with her for the last three weeks, I only I ain't had much social time at all. So I'm like, it's not important because you got so much to do. So right. many, you know, you got to dodge T's, cross your eyes. You deal with an attorney, so you got to make sure you ain't oh, dropping yeah. the ball or nothing. So she's making me better. So I'm That's very appreciative. That's and it's yeah. it's like it's like a challenge too, because if you yeah. challenge somebody who's been comfortable or, or oh, used yeah. to a certain yeah. way of moving, and then you say, okay, hey, look, we're gonna go over here and do this, then we're gonna do this. You like, hold up, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm chilling, you know, I'm good. <laughs> but when you start working, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's why they say. Um, if you're down, you feel sad, work. Mm-hmm. If you're going through something, yes. work. Because you're working in that activity mm-hmm. is making you forget, man, he said he loved me. She said he loved me. <laughs> and I'm just eating it. And it's like, now I get that why they say work because you motion and moving instead of sitting there pouting yeah. and eating. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I like how you said that. But, you know, way. also, you know, I've been comfortable for a long time, uh-huh. okay? A long time. I've been a lawyer since 1998, okay? okay? Wow. And um, have some pretty successful businesses. Mm-hmm. My goal is to really make everyone around me help them be better than where I found them. So if you come to me here, I consider it my uh, purpose to help move yes. it from here to here, okay? Can now, and I don't do it, I you hope know, you're paying attention. and I don't do it by myself. We do it together. You see what I mean? Right. So we do it together. So, but if we're here, I want to move it here. And that is with the folks that are participating at the restaurant. Right. You know, where do you want to be? Where, where are you trying to go? Whether it's with me or a, with someone else, help, tell me where you're trying to go so that That's I right. can help you get there. You That's know, right. you want to be a number one chef? Okay, I'm going to put you on covers of magazines. I'm going to let Commercial Appeal or whatever uh, in, in whatever periodical right. Memphis magazine that comes in that wants to interview me, right. I, I bet I'm going to let them interview you because you I'm trying to elevate this this new group of right. people that are trying to come up. So, and that's with the law firm, Princess. You know, Princess, she'll be in uh, Memphis Magazine as a super lawyer, you right. know. Super so, lawyer. a super lawyer, Ooh, absolutely, dope. absolutely. Okay. You know, and Princess has been with me since she was in her second year of law school. You know, and so those are the things that we're trying to do. We're trying to, you know, help our folks go to the next level. Where is it that you want to be in this and in the entertainment industry? You know, and with Brody, okay, what are the next group of producers that want to be uh, trained by this master over here? You know, where are those? Where are those kids? She said, "Matt, trained by the master." Yes, yes, yes. You know, so where? these these little young cats and you know however old they are that want to sit at his feet and learn this game here you know and 
so th it, as we're building Bluff City Records, we're also trying to help build an infrastructure mm. to support this Ooh. label. That infrastructure includes publicists, mm. it includes videographers, it includes stylists, right. you know, hair people, it includes, you know, the whole gamut of what make managers. Right. All of these people are needed to really have a successful industry here. That's major. Yeah. And, wow. and what we don't need to do is, because one thing Memphis is bad about is you get these people to come and help you be great and be better, and we, we, we get the ball, and they run with the ball somewhere else. They yep. don't need you in Atlanta. They don't need you yes. in New York. They don't come need on. you in L.A. <laughs> We're trying to create something. So the because one of the complaints used to be they want to be at home. They love to come home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but they don't like... come home and not be productive. <laughs> right. You know, what you or coming home for? Just to show me your... you got your new car, your right. new house. Come Congratulations. On. Yeah, yeah. Clap somebody, for it. Yeah, you are. Right, right, right. Help somebody else <laughs> get it. You know? That's, right. that's yeah, what right. it's about, though. You that, know, and once exactly. we realize that uh, once we start to support and help each other, we'll get it. It's okay to help somebody because it's enough out there for everybody. Amen. It's enough. It's That's enough. right. And I like how you said that because I, I said the same thing to the folks here. I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Yeah. I said, but while I'm here, You've done yes. a great you, you, you need yeah. to, you know, you see what I'm doing. If you see me on this AI, like mm -hmm. Carlos said, in a good way, yeah. Learn that. Yes. If you see me talking and meeting with different people, you can sit in on the mean. I never told nobody no. Right. Mm -hmm. But don't just get caught up in I'm just going to do my everyday thing right. and not learn, like mm -hmm. you said, where you want to go, what you really want to do, yeah. because we got stuff here that can help people in everything that you said. Mm -hmm. We got it right here in this building. That's right. And but one we just thing you do, Brother people. John, since you've been here, I don't even think that people know how you and your uh, staff have Transformed. Did she say trans? Did, she, you, did you see how she slowed it down like a, <laughs> a, a, a iPhone yeah. video, right? Yeah. <laughs> how long have you been here, brother? I've been here since 2014. General manager since 2018. And nice. when you came in at 18 as a general manager and 20, started, yep. and started transforming right. the facility from the bottom to the top. Yes, ma'am. To a state of the art facility. Girl, don't make my left where eye your, moist now. Where your kids. <laughs> You know, so that your kids can learn this and grow. Mm -hmm. And not only kids, but the adults, you know, that come here. Really need to start doing tours. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You're right. You know? You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're so right. So that they'll mm -hmm. see what we have, you Just, know, and start utilizing. And see, and Carly and Carlos, y'all know how it is. When you're about to work, you don't stop yep, to think. Right. I mean, I appreciate what you said, and I love it, and I thank yeah. you for it. But it's sometimes we're so caught up in the work and trying to do things that when – when you stop to say, well, let me do this or, you know, get take the accolades, it's like, yeah, I appreciate it, but, man, I got to go back to make this beat or, mm -hmm. you know, I got Kanye on the phone. He need a beat by tomorrow or right. you got a case you're working on. And you're right. Sometimes we do need to stop and smell the roses mm -hmm. while we here because once we gone, mm -hmm. you know, yes. coulda, woulda, shoulda, right. or Carlo, Carly, and John, yeah, they were good people, yeah. but it's like... <laughs> We do need to find right. that. I, 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 I'm thank you for bringing that, that up to the table because Absolutely. we all looked funny when she said, "Well, <laughs> what's the me time look?" <laughs> yeah, That's but crazy. you know, and and that was also really a catalyst for Bluff City, you know, because I'm in the middle of opening up River Terrace, Mahogany okay. River right, Terrace. Right. Um, yes. But the 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 uh, thing with Bluff City, I was like, you know, the timing is now because it's if now. not now, when? Come on. You know, when you have a baby and it's got to be birthed, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I, I need to, this is one of those items that I've got to get done. You know, it's been on the shelf, but I've got to pull it off the shelf because it's going to need an incubation period. Mm -hmm. So I've got to pull it off the shelf, even though I do simultaneously have this restaurant going, this has to be done. Mm -hmm. And if not now, when? That's right. Listen, but, right. River Terrace. You remember we used to DJ at the old yacht club, mm -hmm. but he just did. Yeah, <laughs> bro. So you know. Oh, it's, it's opulence. It's black excellence. Listen, yes. fine dining. Come on, like for real. Like that. When I saw that, I was like, Yo, 
it just felt like the Cotton Club or right. something you put your nice hard bottoms yes, on yes. and go to. And that, that was as soon as I hit the door. And that's like, us. Wow, that's us. That's and us. Knowing, and, and knowing what comes from that, I was telling my husband, I used to work for Beepers Plus when I was about 22 mm-hmm. years old. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. And <laughs> my coworkers and I used to go down there for lunch. And it wasn't for us. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. We did that, tell you. We knew that. Yeah. yeah so it yeah. wasn't. So, it but was, do you yeah, understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it wasn't, wasn't for, for us. Right, and right. what happens is after they stop utilizing and stop using that building, that building set unoccupied for how many years? Probably? Many years. For, many years. For, for I know, 10, over 15, 15 years. years. I know. My son is 26. I know yeah. it's been. You, right. But she has come in and done an excellent job. Yeah. Excellent job. And when job. I tell you, yeah, black excellence. The yeah. way she introduced, she said, I want to show y'all something. <laughs> and y'all she, walk up them back uh, steps. Well, it, wasn't even the, the it wasn't even the back steps. When when we pulled in to Mud Island mm. and she didn't take the right and mm. we went to the left, in my <laughs> head, I'm like, I know this woman ain't going to take me to the yacht club. You know? Because wow. I knew Mud, yeah. Mud Island has been ghost for a long years, time. For a long time, you know? And when she opened the doors to the restaurant, she said, it's all me. I said... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she well, just cut beautiful, up. She cut beautiful, up. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. well, Carly, we, yeah. we thank you and we appreciate you and we applaud you. I know it's, you know, cliche to say it's uh, Women's Inter- International Women's History Month. Mm. That's cool. But we need to be lifting up you and thank others you. and like yourself, Carlos, appreciate you. when it's not a specialty month. Yeah. Yes. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I wanted, I had, I wanted to put that spin on it for the people that say, well, you just had two men and one and you ain't had no women. Because I get that, you know. Mm-hmm. You don't have this, you don't have that. So when I'm I'm putting it out there, it's like I don't want it to be, well, it's Black History Month. That's the only time we can talk about X, Y, and Z. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So much success to you. Much success, Carlos and Ann and Los, man. You know, I'm... I'm I'm ecstatic. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm super happy, man. And I'm I'm for real, man. I'm, this is making me want to get back into the writing. So man. we might have a single from Brother John. We might have a single from Brother <laughs> I John because I, I got a lot it. to say. Uh, you, Woo, I know. Let's go. I, to say. Yeah. I yes. know they said I uh, some, some folks say they ain't got nothing to say. Mm. Yeah, but yo, I'm 52. I got a yes. whole lot to say. Yes, yes. Way, and they need to hear it. Right. Yes. So that's why. Thank you to Bluff City. Yes, they need to hear it. Yes, sir. But look, y'all have a great weekend. Thank, thank y'all you, for stopping by. Yes, and thank sir. y'all thank for you. making my day, all right? Awesome. Kavon Joe, hold, hold on. I got to thank Kavon Joe. There you yeah. He yeah. said, hey, John, uh, you want me to come up to help Friday? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I uh, said, probably be at 1 o'clock. Then he thought he probably going to leave at 2. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I got three, three, spot three interviews. So I want to shout out Kavon Joe yes. for making sure these streams go out. But the work that we don't see them, yes. but we see them. We, know, we right. see the work. Yes, you see yes, what I'm yes. So we want to make sure we shout you out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm officially off. I'm going back off and um, I'm going to go do work from home, but we're going to get back to the music. We are 88.5 FM. A-Town, dance.